I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So welcome to this Christmas thrifted haul, thrifted Christmas haul, maybe that's how you say it. So everything I'm about to show you I found recently in the charity shops and I've got some beautiful things. I've got some gorgeous gifts that I'm going to be giving to people, some Christmas games and things and some beautiful Christmas jumpers. I've got one on already that I found in a charity shop a little while ago and I love it. I love the little robins and um, little holly and berries here. It's a really cute little Christmas jumper that I found um, second hand a few weeks ago. So I've got some more lovely jumpers to show you, lots of different bits and pieces. But before I get into it, I've got to do my mug of the day and I've got a very exciting um, thing to tell you about as well. But my mug of the day is this beautiful Christmas one. I'm uh, filming this downstairs, by the way, in case you're wondering where I am. It might sound a bit echoey, actually. I've just started to talk and hopefully it's not too echoey and you can hear me clearly. It looked very pretty with all the flowers in, so I thought I'd film here. I've got my beautiful... um birthday flowers at my auntie, Auntie Sue in Australia. Hello, Auntie Sue. She watches most of the videos. Thank you for my beautiful flowers. This gorgeous Christmas mug of the day that I got years ago, actually. I think when I first started doing YouTube, I found um, two of these gorgeous mugs. I think they're Churchill, Queens by Churchill, the Caravan Trail, Festival Stags. That's what it says in the bottom. I've got a coffee in my mug of the day. It's a really big mug of the day. And as you can see, it's very hot. So it's quite steamy, which is nice, isn't it? So I'll have that in a minute because it's really hot. I'll just put that over there. So right, loads of things to show you. But just before I do, I want to say thank you very much to Yule Tenic. I've partnered up with them for this section of the vlog to show you their new amazing vacuum cleaner. It's called the U16 Flex and it's a cordless vacuum cleaner and it's rather wonderful actually. So you might have seen probably about a month ago, I um, did a vlog, well, a video with them and it was to show their robot vacuum. And that is so good. So I'll link that video below in case you haven't watched it. And this is how the U16 Flex arrives in this little box. And what I'll do is I shall film it in action so you can see exactly what it does, the little green light thing that identifies the, the dust and stuff. And you'll also see how it bends down and goes under your furniture in all different nooks and crannies. So this is what it looks like. It comes with a wall mount charger. So I've just put this here for now, but we're gonna put it in the utility room. And this is where it bends this section here there's the part of the back you just press and then it bends to go you know under surfaces you can't reach isn't that brilliant <laughs> i'm so impressed with this green light technology so going to be highlighting all the microscopic dust and i'm sure there's lots of microscopic dust in our house <laughs> and here it is if you just want to do a small area so you just have it as a quick handheld vacuum it looks like this. I've just clicked that bit in here, which is really easy to do. And I'm gonna go and vacuum the stairs. And thanks again to Yule Tenic for partnering up with me for that section of the video. I'll link everything in the description box and any questions, just add them um, to the comments. I'm gonna get started with the haul and I'm gonna begin with this beautiful Christmas book. This is a gift for somebody, but actually by the time this goes out, the person, the people, the person, the people will already have these gifts. So I'm not like ruining a surprise or anything. So I just thought I'd show you now in advance and then yeah, they shall have them by the time this goes onto YouTube. So this is a beautiful book. This is Super Craft Christmas. Craft your way through more than 40 festive projects. Then inside there's just tons of um, Christmas crafts and it's beautifully presented actually. That was a really nice looking book and only two pounds. I like the look of that actually, the, the bottles with the candles. So a gorgeous Christmas craft book for you and for two pounds. And then I saw these and thought, oh, they look really nice um, on presents. So they're just lots of little mistletoe clips. So I thought if I did some nice present wrapping and um, when I've got some time, I can then do some string and then pop this on with a little note of someone's name. So I thought they were really, really pretty and they were a pound for all of them for all of these little um these little mistletoe it is mistletoe isn't it i think it is um little clip things and i could put them on anything really I could put little photos in them and make a little garland so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven little clips they might have been for a wedding but i think they're probably christmasy but 
yeah, I think they're, they're lovely. So a pound for those, lovely little things. I also got another Christmas mug of the day. How pretty is that little mug? I saw it in a charity shop and then I didn't get it. And then I kind of thought it was really cute. And then I went back to the same charity shop because I quite like it, the, the charity shop. And then I thought, I'm going to get it because it's really cute. It matches my much as my Christmas jumper of the day, mug of the day. And it was only a pound. There you go, it's a pound. I think it's Sainsbury's. Are you Sainsbury's? Oh, Home Store. Is that Matalan? Matalan or Sainsbury's. Um, so it was only a pound for my lovely little mug. I really like the shape, actually. It's fine bone china. And um, yeah, gorgeous little shape. Little blue dots on. It looks quite posh, I think. Little blue dots, a little robin. He's standing on a little bit of wood with the, with holly and berries. And I couldn't leave that behind, not the second time anyway. So another mug of the day, another Christmas mug of the day. The same charity shop had these really cute little tea light holders with a little sort of wreath of bells on. And they were pound fifty for the two. And I've already used these actually. I did a Christmas tablescape job on Instagram. And these are on the table and they just look really, really pretty. So yeah, pound fifty for two. I'll take the sticker off. Um, so a little tea light holder. They had tea lights as well, which is always a bonus. And then this is the little sort of bell wreath. And then sitting next to them was this one. I think this one was 50p. Were you 50p? So it's just a little green sort of votive candle holder with a thingy inside, a Yankee candle inside, tropical jungle candle. And I think this was 50p. Oh, I haven't got the tag on it, but I'm pretty sure that was 50p. And maybe this was on top or something. It was a little present. I'm not sure, but it's very cute. So I thought I'd get that for 50p and put that somewhere. So lovely little tea light holders. I also got this the other day and it's not Christmassy, but I thought I'd make a nice little gift. So it's one of these subscription boxes, I think, or maybe a little gift someone sent through the post. It says, oh, hello, wonderful human. And the makers Walter and Bloom. And then inside there's just lots of lovely little things. So a really nice gift idea, actually. Oh, so in here, let me sit this way so I can show you. Hopefully it's bright enough in here. Normally I'm facing a window, but this time I'm, I'm here, but hopefully it's, it's nice and clear anyway. So lots of little things, deep cleansing clay mask. I've got a Walter and Bloom Energize Awakening Bath Salts sachet, something else, and then coconut bath milk, and then some tea and biscuits. And I might not probably eat and drink this because this might be really old. It doesn't have a... It's really cute if it was in date, but I don't know what the date was, so probably won't be eating the biscuits, but it's very cute. You know, if you've received this in the post, all these lovely um, you know, facial steam, all these lovely things, all these lovely little, you know, you could have a right nice, a right good pamper session, couldn't you, with all of these. So £1.50 for this little kind of gift set thing. Another little gift for Ewan. Well, I've got a few things here, actually. I got him these lovely socks. These are men's thermal lounge slipper socks and they were £1.99. They're brand new, super thick and they've got the bits here so he's not going to like slip and fall over. So hopefully he will like them, a little present for Ewan. So I've got to wrap those up in a minute actually. And then I've got some really cute little uh, hand cream and that's so pretty. I love the design actually. It's gorgeous. So this is the Scottish Fine Soaps Company Ginger Clove and Mistletoe Hand Cream 30 mils, and that was one pound. So a nice little bargain and just really cute. I love that. That's so pretty. And then a really cute little Christmas jug. I think I'm going to give this to Luke actually. So when he does his his lovely Instagram posts, maybe you can put a little bit of cream in here and pour it on something. So I think that is going to go to Luke this little gorgeous jug. I think it's Gisella Graham. It doesn't actually say, I'm not sure, but it, I think it, well, I've got one just like this and it's Gisella Graham, but that doesn't really say anything unless the sticker's covering it up, but cute little Christmas pudding on there. And that was only a pound. And this next item I'm going to show you, I, I bought for Ewan. And I don't actually know if he had it last year. I've got a little thing in my head. I think he might have had it, but I'm not sure. Hopefully he, he didn't have this last year, but there's something that is telling me he might have done. So if he has, he's probably got rid of it and, and, 
And if he hasn't, it hadn't, then he's got a, a lovely little Christmas jumper. I saw it and thought, I'm just going to have to get it. Ewan loves Lidl. He loves a trip to Lidl. So I thought I need to get him this, even if he's had it before. It was a bargain. It was four pounds. It's nice and large, so it can go on and be really oversized and lovely. And, and he can maybe go on a little trip to Lidl. I don't know if he had it. I just, I don't know. Or did he have socks or something? I did see a little hat as well. But I thought, no, I won't get that. And I think it was quite expensive. I think it was about six quid. So I thought, no, I'll stick with the jumper. Otherwise, he would have had the matching hat had it been a bit cheaper. <laughs> so, yeah, if he doesn't want to wear it. Oh, just hit myself with the tag. That's karma, isn't it? If he doesn't want to wear it, he can just donate it and someone will really love it. It's actually quite cute, though, in sections. Um, so it's brand new. You know, it's a lovely Christmas jumper. We shall see his reaction. I think it'll suit him. And he does love Lidl. You'll be able to see his reaction when we do our gift giving video. I bought this the other day and I really like it. It's perfect for Christmas. It's actually a really good solid um, light up star. And it works already because sometimes you never know if they work. Do you? Where's the switch gone? There. So it's actually nice and bright. It's really heavy, it's really good quality. I do love a little star at Christmas and I haven't got one like this. So two pounds 50 and I think it was from, I think it's B&M actually, I read somewhere. It said B&M, I can't remember where, but I really like that. I like you a lot, right, let's put you back. Can you stay there? Yeah, there we go, that's cute, isn't it? All right, I've got a cute little Christmas bag to show you as well. So a little Christmas stocking, which I thought was really cute. So I can put someone's gifts in here and it was only a pound so a lovely kind of traditional Christmas little bag really nice quality with a little drawstring with Santa on there so yeah just pull that there little cute Christmas gift bag I've got a few more things to show you some gorgeous jumpers actually I've got three more jumpers to show you and what have I got here? Oh, the games as well. So the Christmassy games. I've got kids charades or charades. Do you say charades or charades? This looks like a brilliant game. Kids charades, two pounds. And yeah, it's just really daft and silly. I love a little simple game like this. So I thought I'd grab that, two pounds. And then this one is called Bluff. And that was a pound. So really cheap, actually. Bluff, true or a bluff? The game of the weird and wonderful word definitions. I've got some gorgeous glasses as well. There was only three of them. And I thought they were really, really pretty. They were three, four, two pounds. These aren't necessarily Christmas, but I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And they had to come home with me. I've got some um, larger shaped glasses actually like this. And I just thought they were really... I don't know, really different. And I needed them in my life. I'll probably put them up there for now um, with some other glasses I've got. And then I've also got this little sort of jug, little bud vase I thought was very pretty. I love this colour. I think it's gorgeous. And that was £1.25. So a cute little glass jug that I can put a little flower in. And I'm going to finish this video on Christmas jumpers. I've got three more to show you. And they're really pretty. So this one, it's Christmassy, but then I don't know if I could maybe wear it like normally. Maybe not. Maybe it's more of a Christmas one, but it feels brand new. The condition is absolutely perfect. It's from Lipsy and it was £6.50. I love the brown and the pink. I think they go really well together. I think they're lovely. Really, um... I don't know, quite complimentary colours with the little silver stars. So this would be great with a skirt or with jeans um, and it's really quite nice and warm as well. So I love that. I think this is probably one of the prettiest jumpers I've seen in the charity shop. And the fact it feels literally brand new. I don't know if you can see, it doesn't look like it's been worn at all or washed. It's just perfect, perfect condition. So gorgeous pink and brown jumper. I don't think I've ever had a pink and brown jumper before. And then this one's really pretty. I actually have this one, I think in, it's the opposite, it's kind of gray. And then it's got, or it's silvery gray with red. And this is more red with little bits of silver and white. And I absolutely love it. It's from Asda. I love the bottom. I love the top, sort of the little, I don't know what this is called, like a little scoopy bit with all the details with the reindeers on and it's quite high neck as well and this was it's from Astra isn't it yeah it says George 
tis the season and it was five pounds so a lovely christmas jumper love all the detail and it's really good quality feels in brilliant condition and just really pretty so that is one i'm going to be wearing a lot and now on to my final jumper my last item in this haul it's another jumper it is from sainsbury's it's actually a kid's jumper but to me it looked quite big so it says to you to sainsbury's it says age 14 2.99 but this looks quite big to me so this is like a size 12 or size 14 so i thought i would get this and i thought it was really cute as well it's um it's really nice and soft but but quite warm and it says oh what fun and it's so soft like this um this fluffy bit here is so very soft and there's a little reindeer as well with some little sequins on so that is everything that is the end of my thrifted christmas haul so i really hope you enjoyed and like seeing what i bought if you had a favorite item add it to the comments below let me know i love everything i know i always say that but i i do i think it's all gorgeous the brown and pink jumper with the stars I really love because it's just I haven't seen one like that before and I think it's so pretty and I also love these I love charity shops for little things like this you can pick up and just put straight on your on your table and just use or straight you know decorate your house I love finding secondhand Christmas things it just makes it even more special I don't know why um but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video if you are on Instagram you're more than welcome to come and follow me on there if you haven't already I'm Kate McCabe and my house account is Kate's Georgian Home so I'll link those below with my videos that I filmed recently and I'll put the link to the Yultenic U16 Flex Vacuum Cleaner as well so that'll be down there like I said any questions pop them in the comments but have a great weekend and I'll speak to you next Friday at two o'clock unless I've got a video before I might have I might have one for Wednesday but um yeah, I'll let you know if I do on Instagram, but take care, have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.